let me ask you a question. Do you think that there's been a sudden rise in credit repair businesses because a bad credit cure was found and all these companies just have the key? Or do you think it's because of the hundreds of millions of new consumers with bad credit because of the pandemic who are desperate to secure a roof over their head, get food on the table, get a job instead of relying on limited unemployment and all that? The answer to that is simple. It's because it's a business opportunity and I don't want you to become one for someone else. I want you to create them for yourself. The way we do this is by taking off the horse blinders, all right? Let me ask you another question. How long did it take you to get your current job, your position, apartment, house, boat, car, couch, kitchen, backyard, barbecue pool, whatever? Everything and anything that you've worked so hard for. You're supposed to just fix all your financial screw-ups super quick because there's a cure to bad credit. I mean, Credits only require for you to get a house, a car, an apartment, job, career, military security clearance, jewelry, electronics, phone, cable utilities, insurance for your car, home, all that, right? What about the people who sell you all those loans? The 100% commission jobs for the cars and homes and boats and pools and all that. Don't you think that if it were that quick, they'd simply, what, pay the few hundred for you to fix your credit quickly with their dude to guarantee them their commission? They don't sell, they don't get paid. So obviously they want to get you approved, right? Well, here's a bit of my reality for you and what bad credit personally cost me. 26% interest on a $10,000 car. That's $350 per month. The only car in a lot of 15 that I could remotely qualify for, even with a cosigner would near perfect credit. It was a, uh, what, $350 car insurance. That was $700 just for the car on top of the $550 in rent that I paid for my one bedroom apartment, the $400 electric bill in the middle of winter because of the baseboard heat. And just those three things was $1,300. Even with my full-time job and the benefits at a dealership where I was actually the accounts payable receivables position, that only left me with $300. That's $300 to cover gas, car maintenance, food, medicine, and anything else I needed for the month, right? Well, just saying, that car actually got repoed because no one can survive on $300 a month with bills like that because of bad credit. So let's look at before that. Before that, I had to pay out of pocket to go to college, get an apartment with my sister and her boyfriend, and that was at 1300 what was it, 1350 per month, and that's in the Bay Area, and that was back in 2003 or so, and I worked at Starbucks and Babies R Us as a supervisor, and I still didn't have enough money to buy anything other than Top Ramen, right? Trust and believe that if all it took was 90 days to get rid of bad credit, then all my medical collections would have been gone. Like, I would have gotten credit cards, and I would have maxed them out, and I would have done it all over again. I would have had my own apartment. I would have gotten a career I was actually qualified for with all the languages I speak and certificates that I hold and the experience that I had, right? I would have been able to afford food that doesn't come in a can or a dried form. I wouldn't have struggled from 2002 all the way up through 2014 just to survive from paycheck to paycheck. I wouldn't have had to live in the Coney Island projects when I was pregnant or even lived out of my car for two months back in 2011 because my paycheck only covered enough to eat and shower. This is why it aggravates the hell out of me when people and companies prey on desperate consumers because I know that every single word is a lie, right? They've got celebrities endorsing services that they've never needed what, for a problem that they've never struggled with and rappers backing an unproven company talking about loopholes that don't exist and work <laughs> they're using words that don't even apply to credit repair like inadequate and then they've got people making promises and guarantees about loopholes that aren't real by law when laws need to be enforced like that's what i'm talking about dude like if it were so simple then why are there courts specifically for appeals laws get broken all the time and the only way to hold someone accountable is to do something about it right if things just happen because by law they need to then the majority of negative accounts on credit reports wouldn't exist because by law consumers would pay their debt right why does the the consumer financial protection bureau exist if things just need to be done by law. They exist because all of the abuse of the industry. So why does the FCRA exist? Because of the abuse of the credit bureaus. So instead of believing these half-truths and incomplete uh, blueprints about, you know, why you don't, like, why don't you just look at this for what it is instead of what they want you to sell it as? And in doing that, you're going to get much, much further ahead than everybody else. Like, I, this, these 
things really, really, really piss me off. Like, I wish I could just exemplify exactly what I, what I want to. I mean, it's, it's not like I don't know what to say to close someone because they tell me exactly what they want to hear. Like, people are on the phone with me and, you know, they think that they're being all, like, closed and guarded and all that kind of stuff. But they're literally telling me exactly what they want to hear. All I have to do is use that to get them to sign up for a program that doesn't exist. But I don't do that because I'm not a fisher person, a fisherman. If I'm not, I don't go out fishing for people to sign up. Like I only offer my services to people that I can actually help. I'm not those other places, those other people that I'm trying to protect you from, right? People don't get upset with me because I dispute all their negative accounts at once and all three bureaus at once and use custom disputes and give the copies of the disputes when no one else does. No, people get upset and besides themselves because I don't tell them what they want to hear. Like I've been on here for almost six years and I've been in the industry for almost 10. I know what exists and what doesn't and what you're looking for just doesn't exist. Like stop being a statistic and opportunity and get this done the right way so that you can secure your own future. Trust me, if there were a cure for bad credit, I'd tell you about it, right? Like if you want to do this the right way, Check out the description because I've got a ton of stuff there for you. I've got a ton of do-it-yourself resources. You can schedule a call with me if this is something that you just want to throw your hands up and say, hey, look, I surrender. If you want to get a one-to-one -one call with me, use the link in the description. If you want to find out how to do this the right way, the right way to get permanent results so that you can, like I said, secure your future, move on, and Forget about this whole ordeal that you've been going through for God knows how long, then I can help you in one way or another. But I want for you to just have today be the day where you say, I'm not going to believe all this crap, all this bullshit that these people in these places are, you know, spilling and filling my head with. Like, I, I see now these things don't exist. I see now they don't exist. I didn't go through X amount of years building my credit and then screwing it up and, you know, all of that just to go and fix it all in 90 days or 30 days or 45 days because some law says that something needs to happen. It's not going to happen like that. It's not going to happen like that. And I don't want for you to get stuck in this perpetual cycle because that's exactly what it is. I have been there myself personally. Personally, that's why I do what I do as a business and how I do it for the people that I do because I've personally been there. I just told you part of my story, part of what I've personally experienced. Like, it doesn't work like that. So, for you to move out of this and away from all this bullshit and finally, be financially confident, use the links in the description, and I'll help you in any way that I can. All right. Uh, for right now, for today, that is it. I will see you tomorrow and hopefully on a better note, but I, I really just wanted to talk to you for a minute, talk with you for a minute, because if I don't tell you, if I don't point out what's real and what's not real, then obviously there's all these companies that are coming up, all these people are coming up and, you know, all it is is a business opportunity. Stop being an opportunity.